Uh, welcome in this rapid guide of uh, Aridocad. Uh, we will see uh, the main functions of uh, Aridocad. Uh, as regard the advanced functions, uh, you can see the complete video manual. Uh, this is uh, the first window of Aridocad. And from here, uh, we can start uh, with a click on a new project. Uh, here, uh, you can uh, write the, the name of your client or the delivery date. Uh, are not mandatory fields, so uh, let's insert just uh, the name of the client. So, uh, first of all, uh, let's create our plan. Uh, here you find some uh, layout that is already available with one, two or three walls. Uh, you can also create a plan from zero or uh, you can use the, the close partners. Uh, let's start from this. Uh, okay, uh, let's choose one of these uh, layout, for example, this one. If I want to change the length of the wall, I just have to enter the new length from uh, the keyboard and press enter. Uh, consider that AridoCAD always works in millimeters, also if I have the possibility to turn millimeters into inches. Uh, okay, so for example, this could be a 3000 and press enter from the keyboard. Uh, here, uh, pay attention. Uh, if I change the left of this wall to the right side, also this will change. So I click here on the left side and then I can uh, enter the new left and press enter. Uh, the same here, I have to click to the bottom. So I now I can enter the, the new left without changing the side, the, the left of this wall. Uh, okay, uh, from here I can change the thickness of the walls and the height of my walls. Uh, I can rotate my layout, I can also mirror it. Uh, okay, let's press OK. Uh, here I am in the uh, wall management. So here I have all the tools to manage my walls, like uh, delete wall or create run wall and so on. Uh, you will find a description of all these tools in the complete video manual. Uh, okay, just let's just create a, a partition wall. So I can click here. I move with the mouse. I can enter the orthogonal mode in this way. I can change the thickness of the wall from par. So uh, the thickness could be 120, the height is 2800. Press OK. Uh, if I press the tab from the keyboard, I can select the, the position of the wall. Okay, This is the right position and then just a click inside this wall. Oh, to deactivate the wall, I make a right click of the mouse. Uh, very important. With AridoCAD, with the left click, you activate the tools. With the right click, you deactivate um, the tools. Uh, okay, so let's exit from here. Okay, so now we are in the main window of AridoCAD and we are not anymore in the wall management, management window and here you can find different tools. Uh, we will see these tools in the next steps. Uh, if you want to zoom you can scroll with the mouse up and down or you can use these tools. Uh, okay, uh, how to insert uh, the elements? First of all we have to choose a working wall. It means the wall on which I will insert my elements. So I click on working wall. I click on the line of the working wall. Uh, for example, I don't know, this one. Uh, the line becomes blue. I can see the, um, my working wall uh, on the plan or in the elevation view. Okay, if I click here, I can uh, switch from plan view to um, elevation view. Um, 
Okay, so uh, now let's enter in the elements uh, archive. Uh, I click in shared accessories and here I find uh, doors, windows and so on. I open the doors. I find uh, hundreds of doors available, armor doors, uh, internal doors, flush doors, folding doors and so on. Uh, let's insert um, an armor door. So uh, to insert an element I can make a, or a double click on the element or one click and click on insert. It's the same thing. I click again to insert the element. I can choose the handle. Uh, I can choose the kind of opening, for example, uh, interior, um, the aligning of the door, for example, internal. I can change the dimension of the doors. Uh, the distance from the left size, for example, could be uh, 2,200. And, and so I can also uh, set a display or uh, other kind of options are, are available. Okay, let's press OK. Now to deactivate the door, I press, I make a right click of the mouse. Okay. Um, and now let's change working wall. So I click here and then I click here. Uh, here we could insert the window. Here we have any kind of window available. Uh, windows, French windows for attic, sliding windows and so on. Uh, let's take for example this one. Double click. One click. Here again I can uh, change the, the dimensions, the, the position on the wall, uh, the distance uh, from the left or right side, for example from here could be 1600 and again display, graphic options, for example I can insert an automatic uh, a threshold, I can choose to open the, the window and so on. Let's press OK. right click again working wall i choose this wall uh, here <coughs> i could insert for example a free door window double click one click uh, the distance from the ground could be 900 the position internal display graphic options threshold and so on let's press ok ok so uh, right click Again, working wall. Here we could insert uh, on this wall um, a sliding door, for example. Let's take a sliding system for sliding doors, uh, external wall, uh, wall mounted, uh, double rail or single rail. Uh, let's take this one, double click. Uh, in this case, it could be helpful to insert the door on the plan view. So. Uh, in this way uh, I don't make mistakes okay so let's insert it here with a click I choose the kind of material for example wooden glass press OK I choose the kind of panel uh, for example this one and the number of panels the handle for example this again I can change the dimensions the distance from the left to right side graphic options and press OK Automatically, AutoCAD insert the, the door um, inside the wall. So again, right click. Uh, okay, uh, after we have inserted doors and windows, we can insert the floor uh, and covering. So uh, here you find the, the covering library. So I click here. I click on archive. I choose the kind of covering that I need, for example, uh, wooden floors. Here you have a very wide choice. You can also import um, new uh, textures. Uh, in the video manual you find uh, the tutorials to import new, new textures. Uh, I don't know, let's take this one. Press OK, OK again. And I click here for uh, automatic covering just one click inside the room I choose the direction 
another click and automatically uh, this is the distance from the ground in this case it is zero I press OK and automatically AeroDocad will cover all the room. Uh, the automatic insert works only in the case of rooms that are uh, closed uh, all around from the walls. Okay, so let's back again in the covering library archive. Uh, now I need a tile, for example, this one. I can also change the size of my tile, I can apply a tile joint, I have to press, click on apply, press OK, automatic insert, one click, another click and press OK. Uh, right click to deactivate the option for the automatic insert uh, of the floor. Um, Okay, you can have a color view of your project from here, okay? Or you can have a 3D view of your project. If you click on 3D um, view, I can close this one. Now, if I press the right button of the mouse, I can move with the mouse, I can turn uh, left or right or up and down and I can move using the four arrows on your keyboard so I can move uh, to the right to the left ahead or back so I can uh, combine the movement of the mouse with the arrows to move in this way uh, if the 3d option is not available on your AutoCAD you can activate it clicking on Options, Preferences, and click on 3D Window. Okay, now, uh, if I want a better quality of the 3D view, I can click on Shadows here. Okay, I can insert, uh, when I press the right click, I can move. If I press again uh, the right bottom of the mouse, the scene stops, okay? If I want to insert a ceiling automatically, I click on Options, Ceiling Areas, Create Ceiling, and press here. Automatically, AeroDocad will create a ceiling all over the, the plan. Uh, also, these options works only if the rooms are closed, okay, and not open. Um, okay, so, uh, I can also have a double view, 2D and 3D view at the same time, okay? Uh, and now let's choose this working wall and we can start to design our kitchen. So now I will enter not in the fast elements archive but in the elements archive. Uh, here uh, these are the shared accessories, okay? It means the, um, the elements that are uh, sh uh, uh, helpful, that can be used for each kind of furniture I work with. From here, I can choose the current model. Uh, by default, uh, here you find the kitchens, but if you want to choose the kind of model or the kind of furniture that you need, you click on model selection. From here, you can choose modern and traditional kitchens, wardrobes, bedrooms, uh, cabin wardrobe, living rooms, or uh, the products of our uh, partners. These are uh, very famous Italian brands uh, that produce complements like Catalan, uh, Montini, Floss, and so on. Okay, let's start with the kitchen. I press OK. Uh, from here, I can set and customize the, the dimensions of the cabinets, of the base units, corner base units, wall units or tall units. Uh, now, let's keep these uh, default dimensions. I press OK. Uh, from here, I can choose, uh, first of all, the kind of door of the kitchen. This is the most important choice because the door is the element that makes the difference between one kitchen and another kitchen and here you have a very very wide choice of doors these are the modern doors but you also have traditional front doors 
and you have a very wide choice. Okay, let's insert a modern one. <coughs> uh, okay, for example, I don't know, let's insert uh, this one, double click, and now I can choose the materials and the colors of the other, other elements of, of the kitchen. For example, the structure could be uh, wood, you, you have uh, hundreds of texture of light, middle or dark wood colors. You can also import your own textures. In the video manual you find a, a tutorial to do this. Uh, let's choose middle colors for example and then uh, let's take, I don't know, this one, double click. Uh, let's also choose the color of the door. Here you have the lacquer colors, uh, matte, glossy, RAS, scale, NCS scale, and so on. Okay, let's do our kitchen uh, white. White, glossy white could be fine. Uh, I can do the same for the other components of the kitchen, for the drawer, and so on. Let's, I, I, I can go back to this uh, window in any moment. Let's press OK. Okay, 